Today I'm going to try something new. Stop motion. Stop motion is where you take individual pictures on a camera like this one and then put them together in post one after another to make a moving image like a video. It's something I've never done before and seeing as I've got an abundance of time at the moment I'm going to give it a go using this setup here. Take a look at it. So I've got my A7 III set up on a tripod and a slider so it's got an overhead view of this which is where I'm going to do my stop motion. I've also got the light here to make sure it's all nice and consistent and uh, yeah let's give this a go shall we? Everything that I'm filming behind the scenes today is done on my iPhone, which is what I'm filming on right now. The reason for that is, is that my DSLR right here is being used to take photos. So the quality is a little bit different, that's why. But my idea is to make as many different Ingemels Brothers logos as I can using stuff that I've got access to around the house. So let's give this a go. So I've just done my first attempt and it went well, but we can do better. So I've changed a few more settings on my camera. One thing I've learned straight away is to make sure it is in completely in manual. That doesn't just mean things like your ISO, your shutter speed, but make sure your colour balance is manual, your focus is manual, absolutely everything. There can be no changes. Bit of a rookie mistake on my part, but it looks good and uh, this is going to be even better. This is what the uh, view from the camera is. It's not too bad. I'm controlling it with my phone because I don't want to touch this. If I touch this and it starts shaking or the camera moves, it's not going to look the same from frame to frame. What do you think, Zig? He just wants to eat food, but uh, not bad. Look at all the mess I've created over there. Need to clean that up before, uh, before the missus wakes up. So that's paper, that's nice and easy. All you've got to do is print out your logo, cut out all the letters, and then uh, you're good to go. But um, I've got something else in mind. Let's try something a little bit different. M&Ms. Let's go with these. So also, let's test out the slow-mo on this uh, on the iPhone camera, see if it's any good. Because well, I'm not using the, the slow-mo on this right now. Did it look good? Felt good. Salt the camel. Great charge. So that was M&M's. That was pretty fun. Pretty tasty. But let's try something else. Cornflower. So that's it for this setup. So I'm gonna pack down and get all this stuff on the computer and let's uh, see how it turned out. So thank you for watching if you've got this far. It is now the evening and I've got all of the footage on my computer and edited up. And my first thoughts on stop motion is that it's really fun. It's a great way to lose a few hours of your day. But the whole reason for me giving this a go is basically it's now another skill that I have and another skill, another thing that I can offer to my clients. Um, during this time of lockdown and isolation, I might as well use it to better myself as a filmmaker and be able to expand what I can deliver to people who come to us. Not only that, that um, because my camera, the A7 III, films in 6K and then downwards to 4K, because I'm taking pictures, it now enables me to get that 6K footage. It means, me, means I can use the full range of my sensor. I believe you only need a 32 megapixel sensor to be able to deliver uh, 8K stop motion 
footage. Don't hold me to that, my maths might be a little bit off, but I think it's about 32 megapixel. So thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this one, the M&Ms were delicious and now have been eaten. Uh, if you have anything else that you think we should do, like stop motion, leave it in the comments below. But for now, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.